Hello everybody, um, in this video I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on how to connect up an air pump into your fish tank um, either for a little air stone or for a sponge filter um, so just going to quickly talk through that. I have an APS um, this is an APS 100 um, air pump which does tanks for 50 to 100 litres um, it has one outlet, you can get ones with dual outlets so you get one pump doing two lines in the two different tanks um, but this only has one um, for, a, for a new tank I've got um, other bits you probably are good to have is this little stopper valve so basically when it's connected up if the pump stopped working for any reason um, it stops water being drawn back up into the pump through the through the tubing then yep you've obviously your tubing and uh, get some scissors to just cut that to the length that you need um, it's good to have an airflow valve which controls um, just by twisting this how much air is pumped into your tank um, at different rates depending on how much oxygen you want in there or um, what fish you have sometimes it's better to have the water a bit calmer and less um, oxygen and bubbles going into your tank um, if you want a sponge filter this is just a simple sponge filter um, and it's base and little top section which goes into here basically these are good particularly in tanks for fish fry um, and other filters you'll see little slits and sometimes the fish fry can get um, sucked up into the filter and um, this these stop that they're cheap they work very well they work mechanically and that water is drawn up through the through the sponge because of the airflow um, and also biologically as the, the bacteria for converting ammonia to nitrites and nitrates and all the rest um, live in the sponge um, so these are great, cheap and safe for fish fry um, and these can be connected as well um, also this is just an example of a little air stone which many people use um, you can just put the air stone in on its own and little tiny bubbles will flow out from this or sometimes you see it them put into different ornaments you know, like a little treasure chest or something in the tank um, so just very quickly how this you you put this together so um, you get a shorter length of tube to go um, just under your air pump so just I just push that on as tight as you can um, onto the end there um, like so you know this end I would um, put the flow valve then on next and just choose an end put that together and just push it up again as tight as you can so you've got your full valve going into your pump um, then I would attach the stopper next so again we'll need a, another short piece of, of tubing like so um, so from the other side of the flow valve into so again if you look at this you'll want the, this end go into the, the pump so that if water comes in here it, it forces the, the stopper back and stops any water going on into your pump so again I just push that um, onto the end sometimes you have to twist it quite a bit should do um, and you can keep working keeping it tighter and then obviously the lower the um, longer part will go here on the end and then into the bottom of your tank again this can be quite tight and just keep twisting and pushing um, so again just make sure there's no kinks um, and then uh, you're left with your end so if you were using a, a sponge filter like this um, basically you attach the, the tubing to the top um, and the air will flow out of the bottom if you look closely you can see little um, slits in here so the air goes up through the sponge and out the top here um, and then this little piece just you can get these in different lengths and you can even cut them if, if it needs to be 
just make sure there's no sharp edges if you were, if you are cutting. Um, so obviously this needs to go through the tube and into the top of your sponge filter. And then you can connect the base. So the base is weighted. Um, just a little tip, if you are putting this into your tank, sometimes the sponge um, it'll just float, it won't sink, even though even though the bottom is is weighted. Um, so if you put it into your tank um, and just squeeze the sponge um, and that'll suck in water, make it heavier, make it drop to the bottom. So um, I mean that's your that's your sponge front connector, that'll just sit in the bottom. Um, draw the water in through the sponge um, and bubbles will come out the top here. Um, drawing the water up in and that's mechanically and biologically filtering your tank um, and very safe for fish fry and you can just adjust this to adjust the flow of air through your tank. Um, but if, if you're not using that and you're just using an air stone, um, again, very simple, just attach the air stone to the end. Um, and then just to show you it working, very simply I've just got a, a glass of water and you can put the air stone in. I turn the pump on. So that's it on at the mains. Um, doesn't look like any air is getting out, so again we'll just turn the flow, flow valve. And you can see that there's air coming out of the air stone now. And again, if you just adjust that even further, you see obviously the more air, the more bubbles. Um, but that's maybe a bit strong for most of your tanks. So let me just turn that down. So you've got a gentle flow of oxygen coming into your tank. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely recommend the flow valve. That's a simple setup. And um, hope that makes things clear. And all the best with your fish keeping hobby. Thank you.